Hi, Guitar Flipper here, back with another video. Um, if you followed my first couple of videos, you'll know that I, um, I feel I've completed the deal. Uh, I graded up uh, and on the third guitar I kind of fell in love with the Charvel that I got, so I'm keeping it. But, you know, one in one out rule as they say, so this is an old telly of mine that I built up as a parts caster. Um, so I'm going to sell it either as parts, a collection of parts, or I'll sell it as a whole guitar and I'll kind of build it up, whatever you like. But let's go for it. We'll start with the body. So what we've got here is a Mexican, uh, I think it's a factory special run, like an FSR run. Um, it's a metallic green. You can see the metallic green. Let's get rid of that. It's kind of a sparkly green. Yes, yeah, don't really show it up. Sparkly green colour. Um, I'm happy to include all of these parts. This is a, so you can build it up as a nice Esquire. This is a Tone Rider pickup. This is a Cluson bridge. Tone Rider pickup. Uh, I'm going to take all that. And that's yeah, so, okay. so to, to prove the authenticity of it, that's the Mexico factory uh, factory stamp or serial stamp, March 01. Does that say? I can't even see outside of the camera. Um, you know, and these holes kind of you know, typical with Mexican fenders. Remember, in the last strap, we saw all this kind of cleaning compound. Stuck inside, it's like, uh, like some dried up cocaine or something. Um, and this is like a this was a sticker that's lost its stickiness. I'm assuming the one is for a first, you know, it's not a second, but it is a you know, 2001 guitar by the looks of it. It's been used, and I've used it for however many years. Um, but yeah, structurally all good. The wood, I'm not sure, it's probably either poplar or older. No, uh, the ferrules are in there still. Um, one of them actually look. I've never noticed that before. One looks a tiny bit different, does it? Was it the light hitting it? One looks. One looks a teeny bit different. I've never noticed that one. If I'd never noticed, it certainly wasn't a problem when stringing or anything like that. Um, as for dings, there is something here. That was actually, there was a bit of crack in there, cracking in the lacquer. And what I was worried about was that the lacquer would then peel off and you're left with big chunks of it. So I actually smooth sanded it back a tiny bit. Yeah, it's not massive. And then there is this, where it's been dropped. Guess the straps. They're the main ones. Um, again, another strap button there. Somebody saw that out of the corner of their eye and was suspicious. Uh, if you can see underneath that back plate, no problems in there. All good, builds into a fairly tasty guitar. With no problems, nice colour, it's a nice green colour that you don't see very often. It's not a current colour, I'm sure it was a factory special run. And then the neck is a rosewood 60s. This is actually off a uh, Squire Classic vibe, I'm sure. I'm sure that's a classic one. I got it as a neck with no, um, it had no, no, it had been sanded back. So I put that logo on there and lacquered over it. I'm not claiming it's a fender, it even says. Well, it is, kind of is a fender, I guess. Nice neck. If it's, if I'm pretty sure it's a classic vibe. If it's not a Chinese fender, I'm not sure whether Chinese fenders have that on them. I could check the serial number, or if you care, you could check it. There you go. Uh, Wilkinson tuners. Like I say, I got it. I got it um, just as a blank neck. Uh, I didn't do anything to that, but the front had been sanded away, and I like that '70s Telly logo. Um, yeah, Rosewood, the classic vibe necks are really good. No uh, no problems on the frets. A little bit of gunk in between the fretboards, but I'm going to clean all that off in a second. 
so it's good as new. So I, you know, I can, I'm going to sell as parts, body and bits, neck and bits. If someone wants both, I'll put it together and string it up for you, or I can post it like that. Probably easier to post it like that if someone wants it. But yeah, check the listing in Reverb, the fretboard forum, etc. Um, and yeah, when this goes, I'll use that money to buy a guitar and hopefully uh, flip up to something else. But yeah, trades, trades considered as always. Thank you very much. Goodbye.